ever struggled to integrate a color picker in your Angular project? Want to provide a seamless color selection experience for your users? What if I told you that in just a few minutes you could have a fully functional color picker in your latest Angular 17 project? With our decade of experience in Angular development, I have faced and conquered this challenge numerous times. Hello creative coders and Angular enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel where we turn complex coding tasks into easy digestible tutorials. Today we are diving into the colorful world of Angular applications. Specifically we are going to explore how to integrate a color picker into your Angular 17 project. First things first, what exactly is a color picker? Imagine you are painting a picture and you have a palette in hand to choose any shade you desire. A color picker in the digital realm works similarly. It's a user interface element that allows user to select, adjust and confirm the color they want to use within an application. Color pickers are crucial in scenarios where customization and personalization play a key role. From designing a theme from dashboard to choosing the perfect shade for graphic, color pickers add a layer of interaction and sophistication to your application. But why should you consider adding a color picker to your Angular? app let's paint the picture with its benefit firstly it enhances the user experience a color picker offers a visually engaging and intuitive way for users to make selections reducing the guesswork and frustration next it introduces an element of design flexibility users are not restricted to a predefined set of options they can get as creative as they like which is especially important in design centric applications and let's not forget about precision color pickers provide users with the ability to select the exact shade they need down to the hex or rgb value this level of control is essential for designers and developers who care about the minute details lastly they ensure consistency and branding by allowing users to pick from the specific color set or palette you can maintain the aesthetic and branding of the app or allow users to create their own themes in line with their brand identity so as you can see integrating a color picker isn't just about splashing some colors around it's about enhancing the overall functionality and aesthetics of your angular application stay tuned as we dive into the technical aspects and show you exactly how to add this feature to your project all right we are going to lay the foundation for our colorful creation by setting up our angular 17 environment whether you are a seasoned pro or just starting this guide will ensure you are ready to follow along smoothly if you are starting from scratch don't worry i have got you covered let's begin by setting up a new angular 17 project but before we dive in ensure you have node.js installed on your system it's crucial as angular relies on it for package management and running scripts got it installed great now open up your favorite command line interface i will be using the terminal but feel free to use what you are comfortable with ready let's start by installing the angular cli globally with this command npm install dash g angular slash cli with the cli installed you can now create a new angular project type in this command and hit enter feel free to replace okay after that type in this command and hit enter that is ng new project name feel free to replace the project name with whatever you wish to name your project press enter and follow the prompts to configure your project i recommend enabling the routing and selecting a style sheet format that you are comfortable with let's talk prerequisites apart from node.js you should have a basic understanding of typescript and angular familiarity with components modules and services will make your journey smoother if you are new to angular i suggest checking out our other angular videos on our channel also we will be using specific color picker package there are several out there but for this tutorial we will focus on ng color picker it versatile easy to use and integrates nicely with angular forms so we will dive into the installation and configuration in our next segment and there you have it you have successfully set up your angular 17 environment and are all set to start adding the vibrant color pickers to your application next we will install the color picker package and get our hands dirty with some code now that our angular environment is set up it's it's time to bring the star of the show the color picker package in this segment we are going to select install and configure it so our application can start showcasing a spectrum of colors when it comes to color pickers for angular there are several packages available however our project we will be using ngx dash color dash picker 
It's a fantastic choice for several reasons. It's actively maintained and compatible with Angular 17 and offers a range of customization options to fit your app's need. NGX Color Picker not only provides a rich set of features but also provide a simple intuitive user interface. This ensures that your users will have a pleasant experience while selecting colors, making your application stand out. Now let's roll up our sleeves and get to the installation. Open your terminal or command line interface, navigate to your project root directory and get ready to type some magic. First we will install the ngx color picker package using npm. If you prefer yarn, feel free to use that instead. So let's do that. Open the project terminal in the root directory and type this command npm install ngx dash color dash picker dash dash save okay press enter so let the npm do the things once the installation is complete you have successfully added the color picker to your project but we are not done yet now it's time to configure it configuration is crucial for ensuring the color picker works seamlessly with your app so open your project in your favorite code editor and let's navigate to the app.module.ts if you have but if you are using standalone component then go to the app.component.ts so in my case i am using the standalone component so here first of all we need to import the color picker module from ngx color picker okay and now in the import array i will add color picker module what we have done here is import the color picker module from ngx color picker and then added it to the imports array this simple action makes the color picker available throughout your component or if you are adding in the module then it will be available in all of the components of that module and just like that you have successfully installed and configured a color picker in your angular 17 app excited to see your app come to life with colors you have installed ngx color picker and now it's time to roll it out on the stage we will add the color picker to our template understand the code and witness the color picker in action i will be working with the app.component.html but you can choose whatever fits your project's structure so ready here is how we will implement it open your app.component.html and here i will remove this thing and add the input and i will pass some directives to it color picker and give it a property color and then style dot background is equal to color and then give it a directive cp output format hex okay so here we have added an input element with the color picker directive this directive is what transforms our ordinary input into a vibrant color picker the color picker syntax is angular's way of binding the inputs value to a property in our component which we have named color now open the app.component.ts and add that property color type would be string and give it any color that you want to try okay so in the app.component.ts we have declared a color property and assigned it a default hex value this value represents the selected color and will update whenever a user picks a new color notice how we have used angular's two-way binding syntax to ensure that changes in the color picker reflect immediately in our color property and vice versa next this style dot background part dynamically changes the background color of the input field to match the selected color providing instant visual feedback the cp output format ensures the color value is in hex format but you can change it to rgba or hsla or any format you prefer it's one thing to talk about code but seeing it in action is where the real magic happens so let's switch to our browser and see our color picker at work all right you can see that input is there and if i click on that the color picker is visible and if you pick any other different color then the background color would be changed that input okay you can also change the value based on that okay so you will see the value as well in the real time so let's suppose you want to make it red or whatever you can see that the color code is being updated in the real time so look at that as we pick different colors our input field reacts instantly showcasing the selected color it's interactive responsive and best of all incredibly easy to integrate thanks to angular's powerful data binding you have now added a dynamic color picker to your angular app making it more interactive and engaging experiment with it try different configurations 
and see how it can enhance your applications user experience so now you have successfully integrated a color picker into your app but why stop there it's time to tailor it to fit the unique style and needs of your application in this segment we will explore the various customization options available to ngx color picker and how to implement them so let's add some personal touches to our palette the ngx color picker is not just versatile in functionality but also in appearance and behavior whether you want a different color representation a unique style or specific functionality there is a likely a way to customize it to your needs you can modify the appearance like the color picker's size and layout adjust functionality such as color format returned even tweak the behavior like changing how the color picker is triggered let's see how we can apply some of these customizations let's say you want to change the size of the color picker of the color preview so this is how you can do it so go back here and add a directive cp width and give it 300 pixels and then cp height with the 300 pixels so by adding the cp width and cp height attributes we have defined the width and height of the color picker dialog now it's a bit more spacious and easier to interact with so let's see okay you can see that it has been increased you can increase it further it is too much now okay now what if you want the color value in the different format perhaps rgba instead of hex so this is how you can specify that here instead of hex i will specify rgba and now let's try okay, you can see that the updated value is in rgb so with the cp out output format attribute we have instructed the color picker to provide color values in rgba format now every color you pick will be returned as rgba value and there you have it with just a few tweaks you have personalized the color picker to better fit the look and feel of your app the possibilities are vast so i encourage you to explore the ng ngx color picker documentation for even more customization options we have covered a lot today from setting up your environment to customizing and troubleshooting your col your color picker integrating this feature not only enhances the user experience but also adds a layer of sophistication and interaction to your angular projects i encourage you to take what you have learned experiment and infuse your applications with the spectrum of functionality and style the world of angular is vast and colorful so explore it faced any issues we did not cover or have some colorful insights of your own share your experiences and questions in the comments your feedback not only helps us but also your fellow developers if you found this series helpful remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more angular tips and tutorials your support keeps these videos coming you have been watching ayaz tech where we demystify web development and bring your projects to life thanks for tuning in and keep coding those rainbows